Ferran calls me out and says, uh, Rene. And uh, first I didn't acknowledge it. And then he says again. He calls me out a few times more again. And then I realized, wow, he knows my name. <laughs> and I got so nervous. Probably one of the most nervous moments I've had in my life ever. Walking up to Ferran and, you know, hearing what he had to tell me. And then he said, why don't you show these guys around? And I thought, wow, you know, I was 20 years old or something, and he wants me to show guests around in his, his restaurant. I was totally, totally, totally blown away by that. And it fueled me, it really fueled me. And it also tells a lot about him. Because it's one of the most generous person that I know of. He's an inspiration for many. He certainly is an inspiration to me. I owe a lot of the commitment and success that we have at Noma to him. Because when I traveled the world, I thought, you know, I was going to travel and I'm, I'm, I was going to go home to Denmark after visiting several countries and, and, and do a version, a version of a French cuisine, a Danish version of that. Because in my world, that was the only thing that existed back then. And for obvious reasons, you know, French cuisine is, of course, beyond delicious. So, um, and then I went there and it was sort of a, a ground zero for me again. Anything was possible after that. And people often ask me, what did you take away from there? Are you going to have, you know, will you put the sphere on the menu or the chiffon or something like that? And to me, El Bulli was not that kind of experience at all. It was a spiritual thing. It was about investigating, being open to the world, and knowing that everything is truly possible if you do it, and if you want to do it. So, this is for sure the most nervous moment I've had in the past three days, I can tell you that. So I would please like you all to give a warm round of applause to Farhan Andre.